Maintenant, je vais donner la parole à notre ami Tony Debru, qui est le ministre des Affaires étrangères des îles Marshall et qui est toujours extrêmement intéressant à écouter. Tony. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We are all committed to a strong Paris alliance, the greatest climate alliance the world has ever seen. This means that Paris is not only about Paris and negotiators and plenary statements, but also about mobilizing action from everyone. There can be no more delay. We thank you for calling this meeting, this very unique meeting, to share our views. We affirm our support for France as the incoming president next year, and we thank Peru for the wonderful leadership. Lima is our start today, and by Paris, we have to build on recent progress to widen the playing field to the full range of non-party actors, to fully engage economic entities, private sector research and groundbreaking innovation, local communities, traditional knowledge, and the expertise of local governments. Just moments ago, we were pleased to accept an invitation from former President, Vice President Al Gore to join his climate, party pro climate reality project in combating the effects of climate change. These are no mere words on a page, but the very sources of implementation. There is no other way to net zero emissions than deep decarbonization other than widening our discussion and spurring an entirely new level of dialogue. Like other Atoll nations, Kiribati, Tuvalu, Maldives, we have no higher ground. We have nowhere to go. Some of you in this room know. You have seen it with your own eyes. As a cabinet minister, this is an issue I carry to the villages and to my constituency. They are being told that the scientific risks may tell them to leave our country in the future. But they refuse to go. I refuse to go. My president refuses to go. He's building a seawall with his own hands behind his house as we speak. And yes, sir, he's coming to Paris, and he will be part of the solution. No one in the Marshall Islands will go. We must stay to defend our homeland. As Peru and as France are civilizations, so are the Marshall Islands, as small as we are. We have a culture, we have language, we have customs, we have poets, as so eloquently referred to by the Secretary General. We have women and children and grandchildren. The English language doesn't have and doesn't fully convey the true meaning of the land as our attached identity. It is we as individuals, as people, and we will never let it go. The Paris Protocol must give us a fighting chance, sir, even where its edges may be a bit rough. But the Paris Alliance, the wider true outcome, must mobilize everyone within and outside the negotiating room. We launched this in Lima today. There are no walls in Paris and no more room for error. From the islands around the world, our future hangs at the edge of the sea. Thank you, sir. Merci, Tony. Merci de, de la force de ton propos.